Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another Random Act of Anatomy. A couple days ago we had a film crew here for a TV documentary and we talked about a lot of things, but one of the things we talked about were dinosaur feet, like this T-Rex, and what footprints or trackways can tell us about dinosaur behavior. I had brought out these comparative samples of ostrich um, and I'm here on a weekend, was about to put all this stuff away, but I thought I'd show you a couple of things first. And that's partly because ostrich feet are really interesting. Most birds have four toes on their feet, but ostriches have only two. And if we look closely, we can see that just this one toe, the third toe, is the only one that has a claw. The fourth claw, uh, toe doesn't actually have a claw at all. What I've also got here is actually a fleshed out ostrich foot. In fact, these are all from the left side here, and this allows us to actually make comparisons between the bony anatomy and the fleshy anatomy that can help us inform the extinct anatomy over there. So if we look more closely here, we can see, again, this third toe is the only one with a claw, and this fourth toe, basically in life, functions kind of as mostly in sort of a, an outrigger to help provide support and stability for the foot when the animal is moving slowly. The reality is when these guys are moving, and these guys can run over 40 miles an hour, they actually come up on this third toe and such that basically only this third toe is in contact with the ground. The fourth toe doesn't reach the ground when these animals are running fast. And so if we flip this over, we can see some of the, uh, the part of the, the foot that actually makes the footprint, the sole, and we can see these fatty and fibrous pads right here that help support the animal and protect the tendons that are running underneath here. We can also look, if we look closely, we can see there are these little finger-like projections called uh, papillae that help provide traction uh, to the foot as it's running along the ground. And so by making these comparisons between the fleshed out feet and the bony feet, it allows us to form hypotheses about the soft tissues of extinct animals, like T. rex, that we can then test by actually looking at the fossilized footprints of these extinct animals. One other thing I'd like to show you about um, ostrich feet is also how they're sort of convergent with horses. Horses are these fast running uh, mammals that over the course of their evolution got bigger and they moved into open habitats and started running apparently faster and faster and, and evolutionarily lost all of the outer digits until they wound up with just the central toe, the third toe, such that they run on just the, the, the hoof or the fingernail or toenail of the central digit. Ostrich kind of did the same thing. These are the fastest um, uh, ground birds uh, today, and they have, in, a, in a fact, lost pretty much all of the other toes. They're still holding on to this fourth toe for support, but when they're running fast, kind of like horses, just this third toe is contacting the ground. And so it's sort of a remarkable example of convergent evolution between birds and mammals as a solution for running really fast over open ground, is to reduce the outer toes just down to this single toe. And so this guy is starting to smell. I need to put it away. And so with that, I'm Larry Whitmer, and that's all for today.